Yo, 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 what's going on, boys and girls? Um, I know this is a little bit different than my usual content, but uh, I figured I would make this video because I know this video will help a lot of you guys out. This video helped me out. Uh, this video helped all my friends out that I've showed this to. They said it makes a really big difference. And I also see a bunch of pro controller players starting to do this. That's actually how I found out about it. Uh, so pretty much it's going to be a little two-minute video on two things that you guys can do. Um, and I do as well to reduce your input delay dramatically on any controller any controller you guys are using does not matter the kind uh, You guys can get a lot less input delay and I am going to show you how right now uh, Make sure you guys drop a like in the video if you didn't already I would appreciate it and like I said I'm just gonna get straight into it. This isn't gonna be a long video. Uh, I'm making this video just to help you guys out um, So the first thing that I do and I seen a bunch of pro controller players doing like I said That's how I found this out is uh, if you guys go over to your controller settings, there's something called controller platform. Now, regardless what platform or what controller you guys use, it lets you select any of them. Me personally, I use a PS4 scuff controller, but I play on generic. What I've noticed and what I've seen a bunch of pro controller players do, like I said, that's actually how I found this out. And then I went and tried it myself and I've noticed a huge difference and I've told a couple of my friends try this and they said they noticed a huge difference as well. Uh, is switching to generic. I use a PlayStation controller like I said, but you can pick anyone. Even if you use a PlayStation, you can play in the Xbox input. But uh, if you guys do switch to generic, you will notice a insane amount of decrease in your input delay. Um, you guys need to try it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments after you guys do try this. And I want you guys to tell me your results in the comments. There's 100% a big difference. I know you guys, as soon as you do it, you'll you'll notice it. Um, and that's one way, one thing that I do, and I also seen a bunch of other people do to reduce their input delay. Another way, uh, the second and last way, like I said, this isn't gonna be a long video, is uncapping your FPS. I don't know why, but I noticed uncapping my FPS reduces my input delay dramatically as well. If you guys do both of those things, um, I want you guys to let me know your results in the comments. Like I said, this this wasn't a long video. I just want you guys to do both of these things and let me know in the comments. You guys will notice a extreme difference in your input delay. Um, if you guys want me to make a separate video for console players, I do have a PlayStation as well, and I do go back and play PlayStation for all the Fortnite tournaments. I do have a couple tricks up my sleeve on how to reduce your input delay on console as well. If you guys do want me to make a separate video for console players only, drop a like on the video and comment console. I will make a whole different video about how to reduce your input delay on console. Um, I love you guys. I know this video wasn't long. I want you guys to try both of these things. Like I said, go over to your controller settings, switch to generic. You will notice a bunch of input delay. It doesn't matter what controller you're using. Like I said, I use a PlayStation controller switch to generic you guys will notice the difference the last thing is uncap your fps i know a lot of people are capping their fps 237 doing this doing that uncap your fps i know it may if you, if you guys have the pc for it uncap your fps i notice a insane amount of less input delay as soon as i uncap my fps and also switching to generic there is a very big difference i'm 100 positive you guys will notice a difference um, I love you guys. Like I said, comment console if you guys want me to make a completely separate video on how to reduce your input delay for console players on console. Um, drop a like in the video and uh, I will talk to you guys in the next one.